How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are doing great. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded a video and my upload schedule is like a professor trying to release exam grades. It takes a while, but I am working on the consistency. So I do plan on releasing a new video every single week. So make sure that you have those bell notifications turned on. Now, I also wanna give a huge thanks to York U Med Meg for having me speak at their event and share my story on how I got to med school and getting to meet some of you guys. And it was a pleasure and I had such a great time. I'm here with the founding president of York U Med Meg. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Maha Mavsul. Go to York University, second year biomedical student. Happy to have Tahir here today. Yeah. And for those who are new to the channel, welcome. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. As a student and a lifelong learner, ensuring that you are learning content as opposed to only memorizing it and having efficient studying strategies is such an important skill to have. But before I go into my tips, I want to give you some teaching theory 101. So anytime a teacher is designing a lesson plan, they go through the three P's of lesson planning, presentation, practice, and production. So let's use math class, for example. The teacher will teach you Pythagoras theorem, and that's the presentation thing, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then for the practice stage, maybe they might go through some problems of finding the hypotenuse together, and then you're supposed to do it, and then the teacher checks whether you got it right or not. And then for the production stage, you're not allowed to have any source of information in front of you, but using your own brain. So that could be a test. Teachers follow this strategy up until university where somehow they magically drop the practice stage and they focus on the presentation and production, which is understandable because it's almost impossible for a teacher to monitor the progress of maybe 2000 students in a class. Not only that, but it's also important for a student to develop as an academic and be able to learn how to learn material on their own. Which is why I decided to modify the three P's to a self-studying approach, which I call IMU. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Which stands for information, memorization, and using your own brain. Creative. <laughs> so the information stage is when you have a source of knowledge, whether it's a teacher, lecture slides, textbook, or a YouTube video that you're trying to learn from. So in the memorization stage, you use a series of active recall strategies that help you memorize the content that you just consumed. So I made a video, you can click up here and check out the active recall strategies that I use in med school that might help you. But to summarize, if you're using lecture slides as the source of information, you can create flashcards, questions, Anki, anything to just directly memorize the content that you are consuming. So what I use is I go to class and I listen to the professor and as they're talking, I jot down some questions that are directly memorization based questions. So for example, if a professor is talking about a cycle, then I might say, when does this happen? And then I go home and answer it. And so if I don't get that question right, then I go back to my source of information and clarify that misunderstanding. In the using your brain stage, this is where you take the content that you just memorized and put your own spin to it. So the options here are endless. You can write your own notes from your head using your own words and just start out with a blank sheet of paper and just write down everything you know. You can also explain the concept that you just learned to someone, but using your own words, not whatever the prof said or whatever's on the slide, but how you understand it. But you can also even make a YouTube video about it. You can even make a song or even an interpretive dance, but anything that allows you to have your creative touch to it. Because again, Everyone understands things differently. And just because one person understands it one way, doesn't mean that you're gonna understand it the same way that they do. So what I do is I like to go through the slides and cover the content, but just look at the title and explain things to myself in my own words. Sometimes I add content that isn't on the slides, which is a good thing because I was able to link concepts together and make sure that I was able to understand them in the end. Up until this point in the video, I gave you guys information. Now it's time for the memorization stage. So I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Number one, what were the three stages that I gave you for self-studying and give an example of each? Number two, how does this protocol differ from the traditional three Ps in lesson planning? And now for the using your brain stage, I want you to apply the studying format to the way that you study and find out what works best for you. And don't forget to take chances, make mistakes, and put the L in learning. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and become part of the classroom, and comment down below what studying strategies work best for you, whether you like to do Anki for memorization, or question making, or maybe for the using your brain stage, you like to make an interpretive dance, or whatever it is. I'd love to know what helps you study. So yeah, till next time, peace! Thank you.